The Dabson DBS2100 Pro. This power station has a 2400 watt pure sine wave inverter with 2150 watt hours of storage capacity and a surge rating of 4800 watts. During testing, I did put this claim to the test and this is what happened. This was not able to complete a discharge from 100% down to 0% at 2,350 watts of continuous output. This is rated at 2,400 watts of continuous output. What happened is we have an uh, over temperature sensor that's kicked on, shut down the system, and this happened at 37% into our discharge. Now let's talk about the charging capabilities of the DBS2100 Pro. On Dapson's website, they claim that this has the ability to accept 1800 watts of input. However, during my testing, I was unable to achieve anything over 1350 to 1360 watts of max input. And although we have this set on fast charge, right here in the middle of the charge, we're only got an input of 428 watts. And this is why it's important. It's taken almost three and a half hours to get up to 98%, from 0% to 98%. So the bottom line is that the Dapson DBS2100 Pro did not meet my expectations and disappointed in two categories that landed this power station in the pit of shame.